Hello everyone. Uh, today we are gonna cover the topic of uh, automation account. So in this one, uh, we are gonna use uh, one uh, VM. Uh, we are gonna use uh, Linux uh, VM, and then we are gonna use the automation account to shut the machine down and then start it again. Okay, let's start uh, by creating our uh, virtual resource group first. So let's start with the resource group. Let's create the resource group. Okay, I'm gonna create the resource group in East US. Uh, if you're watching my videos, I usually use uh, East US as my resource group. And we put the resource group name or service name first and the uh, region and let's create that one. It has been created. Now let's go to our virtual machine. We actually won't gonna uh, do anything with the machine itself, but by uh, just shutting it down. So I'm just gonna create like, like a default machine. I'm gonna call it VM1 and then uh, Ubuntu. We're gonna leave the settings as it is. And let me use password just in case. And let's stop and then okay, let me use a complex password. So the automation account is quite the uh, uh, useful uh, account to use. And we will go through it while we are finishing this one. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, that's done. Let's just gonna create it. So no, we won't gonna do anything with the virtual networks or any management stuff. So I'm just gonna wait for it to create. Yeah, like uh, I was mentioning, automation account is quite powerful account. You can do a lot of stuff using it. And as the name says, automation. So it, it's, it's very useful if you are trying to automate something. Okay, we're just gonna wait for this one to finish. Okay, while it's creating it, let's me go to search here and let's search for, let me see if it's still creating it. No, it's just my previous uh, testing. I will wait for this one to finish, shouldn't take too long. Okay, our VM is created. Now, if you go on to the search and search for uh, automation account, there we go. You can see this comes on the top and now let's create our automation account. So I will hit create here. And uh, let's call it uh, automation hyphen account hyphen east us okay so automation account east us resource group we're gonna use rg east us uh, and then uh, location is east us okay we will go with the uh, default setting for further and let's hit create Seems like it's uh, created. Okay, perfect. So now our automation account has been created. Now, if you look where it says process automation, we need to create a run book here. So in the run book, these are the default run books, which are already there. So we're gonna create a run book in for a PowerShell. So if I hit uh, create, Oh, the message comes just up now. If I hit create uh, a run book, so run book will run the stuff which need to be 
uh, tasks or schedule. Okay, let's call it our VM hyphen run book. So it's related to our virtual machine, so run book. And then the type is PowerShell because we're gonna use a PowerShell script and description, I'm just gonna leave it as blank. Okay, perfect. So our uh, run book is created. Now we need to put a uh, uh, script here. So what I have done, I created uh, a notepad. So of the script. So this is the script which we're going to use here. And in this one, since we have a machine which is already running, so I'm just gonna stop this machine and I will do force restart. If you search for this script, you will find it on uh, GitHub or Google. So this is just to stop a machine. And then if I press uh, uh, force, we, we, we use force stop and the name of the machine we call it, we call it VM1, I guess. Let me double check. Can't remember the name sometimes. So we go into the resource. VM1, yeah, capital all, yep. And then resource group, we call it uh, RG US. Let's make sure we are using the same name, yep. I can see from the top. It says RG US. Okay, that's done. And now to run the uh, run book, to run the run book, we need to make sure we save it first. Once it's safe, you need to test it. So let's do a test pane. There will be an error. It might gonna come back with an error. So I I left that error on a purpose if it comes up. And then we will action it. So it will take some time. Let me pause it for now, and then I will come back when we have a output. Hello. So. Uh, I was to I want to show you this error. So actually, if you see, it's uh, throws an error and it's asking for the mod modules to be added. So now I will show you how we can add the modules. So let's go back to our uh, automation account, and then if you go down here, you can see there is a modules gallery. So let's go into the gallery. And what we are after is called uh, first, uh, we need to do, we actually need to do two module. So the first one which we did after is called account and hit enter. You can see uh, this is the first one and let's import this one into this uh, automation account and click okay. Okay, this will take some time. I will put you on mute again. We need to do another one once this is imported successfully. So we need to wait for this one to say his account access successfully imported. So it's still in progress. Uh, let me put you on a mute and wait for this one to finish.
Okay, uh, uh, I'm back, so I unmuted it. Okay, you can see the AZ account has been done. So now let's go and add the compute one as well. Let's search. Just taking his time. Won't take that long, but let's give it a fair enough time. Oh, there you go. I think just not enter properly. Okay, and let's do import for this one as well, like we done for the uh, account one, and click. Okay. I'm just gonna pause this video because it's gonna be a long video if I wait for this one to finish. So I will resume it once it's finished. So hello, welcome back. So yeah, that's done uh, as you can see. Now let's go back to our automation account, go to overview and uh, look for our automation account, which was under the run book. So this is our, our automation account under the run, run book so this is a run book which we have created we tried to run it as you saw it failed so now let's try to rerun it again so i'm gonna click on edit we have saved it now let's do the test pane okay i need to pause the video again and let's hit start because it will take some time we want to uh, minimize the time so let me pause it and once it's done i will come back Hello, back, uh, back now. So you can see that's been completed. So in that uh, run book, what we have tried to do to stop the VM. So now let's refresh and see if our VM, yeah, as you can see, our VM has been stopped now. So that's perfect. That's what we are trying to do. So now let's uh, go back and make a change again to our run book. And instead of stopping it, let's start this one. I will remove the force here because it's just gonna be normal we start. Okay, so I updated the run book. Now you need to save it first and do a test. So uh, and start. So it will queue the job first. So is uh, stop at the moment so we need to wait so i will pause it again and come back once uh, it's finished see you in a second hello back so yep it's been completed now let's go and see our vm let me do refresh perfect so it started now so i think we covered uh, whatever we want to cover in this uh, topic regarding automation account another thing i just need to show you as well if i go to edit so we have used save and test panel so if you want to keep this uh, for like for long to test it you can also do publish this will publish version of runbook over like the previous published version and if you click yes it will publish as well so if i go back to my uh let me go back to my account and you can see it says publish here so it will stay here and if you want to run it just click here and start and since we in that one we just started the machine so it, it's actually won't going to do anything and output you can see the all job is displayed when the job's complete so you can see the stuff here so this is like if you want to save the run book for future you can do publish here okay uh thanks for watching and i will see you in another video with some different topic bye for now